Back in November 2019, my wife asked me, what would you like to do for your 40th birthday? It was coming up in February, and she wanted to know if I had any ideas what I'd like to do. I thought about it for a moment, and I asked her, could I go spend a week with James in Scotland? Thankfully for me, my wife's quite understanding, and she knew exactly who James was, and those of you who saw my last video will also know I'm talking about James Grant, the landscape photographer. Now, I should say right now, um, James has not paid me to, to do this video. Um, he hasn't asked me to do this video. He may even see the result of this video and had wished I hadn't done this video. Um, but my point is, you know, James hasn't asked me or influenced me anyway into doing a video to promote his, his workshops. He doesn't need me to do that at all. Um, I wanted to do it. I wanted to show some, some stuff that I took uh, last week from Sky in Scotland um, because I had such an amazing time and I learned so much I just wanted to show you a few minutes of what you can do if you sign up to a workshop with James um, on the Isle of Skye in Scotland um, I hope you enjoy it I'm going to try put some photographs in there um, either towards the end or in the middle I haven't quite decided yet um, we did take the drone uh, it was quite windy so uh, I think there's one particular uh, clip in the middle where I've managed to fly under a bridge where I literally just about got it under the bridge. It was going side to side um, and all over the place. So apologies for that, but the, uh, hopefully you will enjoy the rest of the clips um, and I'll show you what we managed to do. But for four minutes, take a look at it. If you want to go and sign up to one of James's workshops, I can't recommend the Isle of Skye one enough. It was fantastic and for me who have you know, I've just got into photography and James, uh, it doesn't matter how advanced you are, he will always adjust uh, the, the days to suit everyone so that if you're more advanced you will, you will still get loads out of him, if you're a beginner you will get loads out of him as well. So um, I hope you enjoy it, let me know in the comments what you think and um, yeah, take a look.
Okay, so you probably noticed that there was no photographs whatsoever shown in the last couple of minutes. That is because the time that I edited the video in time with the music, I mean, that was awesome. I mean, that's pretty powerful stuff. I mean, it's not quite Shawshank Redemption, but that stuff was powerful. I mean, you get a drone in the sky with some cool music and you can promote anything. Also, in the time that it's taken me to edit that in that last three minutes, I've probably had too much rum. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change the music and show you some photos of that workshop. Um, Tom has uh, Tom was one of the one of the guys on the workshop. He sent me some of his stuff over as well. His stuff's really good, much better than mine. Um, but if you want to have a I don't know value for money, return on investment. Okay. What are you going to get out of one of James's workshops? Well, I'll tell you what, take a look at my other video when we camped on top of Snowden. Have a look at the, uh, the, the photos um, that I, I, I put on that video at the end. And I could have re-edited them because I've learned a lot more about Lightroom now than I did last time. So I could have, I could have made them better, but I've deliberately left them as they are, um, which were pretty much hardcore LSD, HDR stuff that, you know, I shouldn't have really done in, in Lightroom, but you know what? I learned about HDR, it had that slider, and I just went to the max. So, if you look to my Snowden video, there's definitely no purple skies when we were there, but there is in my photos. That's what I'm saying. Have a look at my photos now, and I think I can tell the difference. Um, there's still a lot of work I can do to, to make them better, but I think comparing the workshop I did in Sky with the workshop I did in Snowden, I've improved ahead of a lot and I've done very little in between. So what I'm saying is, you know, I'm learning much better hooking up with James and having some uh, and having some professional uh, time with him. Um, what I will say is, I, the other thing I learned about James is he's really grumpy if he doesn't get a cup of tea when he wants one. Um, that's the only negative thing I can probably say about the guy is that if he wants a cup of tea, if he asks for a cup of tea, for God's sake, just get him a cup of tea. Okay, otherwise things are going to go very wrong. Um, but other than that, top bloke, top workshop, fully recommend. Have a look at the pics. Thank you for watching.